Hey guys, here is Wonder TV. Let's check out today's news. On Wednesday, Rihanna confirmed to Vogue that the album is still happening and it is still reggae inspired. The 31 year old singer hasn't released an album in over three years. It's not gonna be typical of what you know as reggae, but you're gonna feel the elements in all of the tracks, she told the publication. As far as the release date, She's not talking. Rihanna also recently turned down the Super Bowl halftime show in solidarity with Colin Kaepernick, who started kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice in America. She told the magazine that even though it's been a minute since she released new music, she's not quitting it anytime soon. Rihanna has been busy over the past few years she was in the movie Ocean's Night last year, and she has been working seemingly non-stop on her fashion and makeup line. Can't wait to listen to it, huh? Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner has had enough of social media influencers or promoters that use their social media fame to endorse products and earn money. In the world of celebrities, Sophie Turner seems like a real one. The Game of Thrones actor isn't afraid to hold back her opinions, and she's often hilarious while doing so. Sophie's not down with influencers, specifically those who promote weight loss products like detox tea at the expense of their followers' health. In her Instagram story, the Game of Thrones alumna 23 mocks influencers by promoting a fake product. Let's check out the video. You guys, just kind of going for my influencer look today. Um, today, I just wanted to promote this new powdered stuff that you put in your tea. Basically, it makes you your brains out. Um, and it's totally really, really bad for me to pr be promoting to young women and, and young people everywhere. But I don't really give a f because I'm getting paid money for it. <laughs> influencer live. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo isn't quite as willing as Ellen DeGeneres to let bygones be bygones. Over the weekend, the daytime talk show host attended the Dallas Cowboy game with wife Portia de Rossi. During the game, fans and TV cameras spotted her sitting next to former President George W. Bush. This ignited a fierce pushback from individuals online who saw DeGeneres charming bonding with a conservative politician as a betrayal of her liberal values. On Tuesday, the 61-year-old TV personality addressed the controversy on her show, taking the opportunity to make a solemn plea for unity with audience members and viewers at home. So uh, this weekend, I went to Dallas uh, for the Cowboys game. And uh, during the game, they showed a shot of George and me laughing together. and. <laughs> People were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. Here's the thing. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's OK that we're all different. Just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Doesn't matter. However, not everyone is embracing her optimistic message. Ralph Lowe, who tweeted a story discussing how DeGeneres handled the situation and offered his own opinion of the Bush administration's legacy. Other celebrities have shown their support for DeGeneres and her stance in this divisive moment, including Reese Witherspoon and Kristen Bell. Just a few weeks ago, Camila Cabello may have been trying to keep her relationship with Shawn Mendes under wraps, but now she's completely been open about how happy she is. Camila's been making the rounds doing interviews about her upcoming album, Romance, and she's been pretty raw and honest about her new music and her feelings for Shawn. In an interview with the British program Lorraine, Camila said that her new album was inspired by her process of falling in love, something that she's admitted before. 
but Camila also revealed that Sean is the subject of some of her new songs. Camila said that she wasn't able to explore a relationship before 20 because she was so busy. But Camila admitted that now she's in a happy relationship. I'm so happy. I mean, I have known him for such a long time and I don't know, he just feels like home to me. So yeah, I'm really happy. She told Lorraine referring to Sean. Camila said her new album is about what's happened in her life over the course of the past two years. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I'll be paying extra close attention to her new music lyrics. So this is today's news. Let us know if you like it in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for your watching. I'll see you next time.